previously on Warriors of the Mong Kong. I've decided that to come back, and, and then so far I've gone 3-0. Toby Smith is uh, an exceptional fighter. I really have a lot of respect for Toby. Hey, my name's Toby Smith. I'm living in Bangkok, fighting out of Cass and Rip Gym. Looking to, to still strive to be the best that I can and to uh, keep getting a few more runs on the board and, and cement my legacy as one of the, not only Australia's, but one of the world's best. The never-ending journey of Anak Moy can see fighters travelling all over the globe to compete against some of the world's best and brightest opponents on high-profile shows. Among the countless benefits of being involved in Muay Thai, the opportunities to experience the diverse range of cultures during travels is a priceless gift in itself. The excitement and privilege to perform something you love to people of all walks of life who share the same passion is truly an honour. Once neglected on the map, Perth, Western Australia, has become the breeding ground for top-notch Australian fighters, and now is considered Australia's Muay Thai capital. Being only a stone's throw away, and with direct flights growing more affordable each year, it is no surprise that Thailand is now a popular destination for West Australians. This in turn is helping the sport of Muay Thai grow throughout this part of the world. Toby Smith has touched down on his home soil, where he will be preparing to take on Pechenong Banchamek at Domination Fight Night in what will surely be another epic battle. Toby has gone up against a number of high-profile Thai fighters whilst residing over in Thailand, earning a quality reputation in the motherland of the sport. He is back training under his father, Blair Smith, at their premier gym in Perth, known as the Thai Boxing Pit. It is one of the most recognised and respectable fighter gyms in Australia, established back in 1998 and home to many champion Muay Thai fighters. These two want to make sure that they take home the win. No time wasted, the pair get down to business for rigorous training and game planning. Also fighting from the pit on domination as undercards to Toby and Pechenong is Roy Wills, Samuel Ballantyne and Gary Cairns. Fight preparation at the gym has an atmosphere of its own. Focus and intensity is apparent to all those around. The fighters' attitudes towards training is of a professional and determined nature. Their high work rate is consistent and they're always ready to put in the hard yards to get the most out of their sessions. Consistently pushing past their limits throughout the rounds, aiming to finish strong. Having five full-time pad holders at the Thai boxing pit, their investment of precious time and sweat sees the gym consistently developing a successful fighter-trainer environment. The pit is nothing short of a factory for producing champions.
After five intense three-minute rounds, the boys' training session has only just begun. Living and training in Thailand has helped Toby to perfect the fine art of clinch work, a favourable component in his training. Clinch work is an important asset in Thai boxing, although many often mistake the importance of strength versus technique. Unnecessary strength in the clinch can have a reverse effect, where someone may be using brute strength to dominate, their opponent can use that person's force against them through very little effort. A relaxed and smooth transition of movements is often the key to gain dominancy. As the fighters continuously exchange their partners in the pit, they quickly adapt and develop their techniques through the diversity of each other's strengths and styles. An important and beneficial process, this forces the fighters to go outside of their usual comfort zones and additionally switch on their senses. As the session draws to a near, the realisation that their physical preparation comes to a close allows the body to enter into mission. As the drops of sweat form a puddle and silence fills the humid sauna, it is during these simple moments where the crucial mental preparation of a fighter is kick-started into the lead-up towards the show. The underground gym, Queensland. Pechenong Banchamek is among one of the many Thais living in Australia. He is currently based at the underground in Mackay. With a fight record of over 300 fights and over 240 wins, he has a great asset to the Australian Muay Thai as he is able to offer a wealth of knowledge and experience in the sport. My name is Petanong Mancha Meg. Yeah. I've been fighting in Bangkok. I trained at fire already. Um, last uh, four years, I, I never lost people here. Yeah. And then now, I come to Australia. I fight for Jamie. I Jamie Korean. Yeah. I fought underground gym uh, in Mackay. I next fight. I have five with I Toby Smith, yeah. And now getting ready to training again, yeah. And uh, I will, I training hard and fight with him, yeah. Every day, yeah, I still, I keep going, keep running, I keep sparring and grabbing, yeah. I hope when I fight with him, then I make fun, yeah. Toby Smith, he is very, very tough, hey. He's strong, he's training in Thailand, yeah. Not easy I, to winning him, yeah, but I don't know. 
I have to training hard, yeah. Being the protege of world-renowned fighter Bokao Bangchamek, Pechenong is regarded as a high-class fighter with a respectable reputation. Despite his overflowing record, Pechenong is aware of the capabilities and strengths of his opponent, Toby Smith, and makes sure he is fit and ready to maintain his record. a sponsorship agreement between Underground and Banchamek Gym, Pechenong will continue to live, train and fight out of the Underground Gym in Australia for the next few years. Hi, my name's Jamie. I'm the owner of the Underground Gym in Mackay. I'm also the promoter of Pride and Glory Muay Thai up here in Queensland. So Petanong, uh, he's from Borkow's Gym in Thailand, Ban Charmek. Uh, we brought him over here as our main pro fighter, uh, also to help train our guys in our gym, the Underground Gym in Mackay. And the next fight coming up is with a Thai uh, with us Aussie champion Toby Smith from Western Australia on domination. Um, he's training very, very hard. Uh, Pet trains on average three hours per day and he sleeps three hours a day too because he's a Thai. Pet's been a pretty big name in Bangkok, fighting on all the big shows, Muay Thai Max and those types of um, things over there. So he won six of his world titles uh, fighting uh, out, you know, from people in Thailand. So that's pretty, pretty big for him to get those things. Obviously, two-time WMC world champion, um, one-time WBC. So his WKBF titles have all been won in Australia. I've seen Toby fight a lot. Toby's really strong in the clinch. He's a great knee fighter. Pet will be doing a lot of training in the clinch, looking to, um, to get on top of Toby. Um, Toby's got a rock solid granite chin, so our game plan won't be to try and knock Toby out as a lot of people try and do, because he's um, got a really good chin and he's really hard to beat like that. Um, we do a lot of clinching as a gym, and Pet likes to do a lot. We generally do 40 minutes per day and that'll be our main game plan against Toby. Obviously, Pet's got a fantastic left kick, so we'll be using that to our advantage, firing it off the front leg, um, smacking with that really strong left kick that he's got, and uh, in the clinch, try and cut him up. Domination weigh-in. Toby Smith and Pet Chinong both on weight. The crowds come in hundreds to witness the performance of each fighter. Generally, in the eyes of a spectator, they only witness a few short minutes of each fighter on display. Behind the scenes, hours, weeks and months of training have been applied to achieve the result of those few short minutes. The craft of Muay Thai is a lifestyle. Although superior records may look impressive on paper, they should not be the only measurement of a Nak Muay. Many come from all over the world to wage an eight-limb war down under. In small towns like Perth, 
To avoid the inevitable cycle, repetitive opponents, fighters are flown in from other states and countries to test their skills and given the opportunity to fight outside of their hometowns. Not only does this give the locals the chance to add a number to their fight record, more importantly, it gives them the chance to get a taste of diversity within the Muay Thai community. As father and son prepare backstage for another battle, Toby remains calm and focused in the lead up, relaxing his mind, body and soul before unleashing a war on the canvas. He is ready to take on his opponent. As both fighters slowly warm up side by side, they begin the gradual process of building up determination, hype and focus. As the two fighters share the canvas to perform their Y crew, those brief moments will be their final serene breaths before the bell rings. A typical Muay Thai bout sees the neck Muay's starting off slow and intensifying over the rounds. This is not the case here. Toby and Petronong exchange punches, kicks, knees and elbows in what is looking to be one hell of a fight.
nothing on you. He's gone. He knows he's gone. See the look on his face. Consistently moving forward and maintaining a high work rate, Toby Smith dominates round after round. Thank you.